Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Leo nilikuwa hapa kwenye ibada ya asubuhi ya kuombea ndugu zetu na marafiki ambao wanatupenda kutoka makanisa tofauti. Na kama ilivyo kawaida ya kila siku ya Jumatano tumeuona mkono wa Bwana. Ikiwa tunaendelea kwenye maombi yetu ya siku saba kwa neema ya Mungu tena leo nimepata sababu nyingine ni kwa nini kutachirika kwetu ni kwa lazima. Haleluya. Aya mahangaiko ni ya muda mfupi yataisha. Ni shauri yako kujidunisha na kuchiona vile unajiona. Lakini nakwenda kukupatia sababu itakuonyesha kwamba ni ahadi ya Mungu utachiriki and it is by force by fire. Shetani na silaha zake zote na mahangaiko yake yote lengo lake ni moja eti uwe maskini. Lakini Kristo pamoja na kwamba ni mtoto wa Mungu kutokea kwake mbinguni kuja hapa ni kwamba eti uwe tajiri na tajiri kweli kweli Sasa kazi yangu hapo ni gani ni kuhakikisha shetani atafaulu na ule utajiri wa Yesu ndio utafaulu Nataka jioni ya leo tunapoomba tumwangaisha shetani mpaka ajue tumejua kitu Bwana Yesu asifiwe You can be seated Tulianza kwa kusoma kwamba ni watoto wa ahadi ndio watoto wa Ibrahim. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka nikupe sababu hiyo kwa uraishi ni kwa nini itakuwa vigumu baada ya wiki hii mtie yote hapa kuwa maskini. It will be very difficult to be poor. It will not be your portion. It will not be your language after this meeting. Shout hallelujah. Warumi 9:8 ikasema It is the children of the promise that are the children of Abraham. Na mimi leo nikapokea ufunuo kwamba Yesu Wagabi ni wafuasi wa Yesu hapa. <laughs> Nilipokea ufunuo kwamba Yesu ndiye ndiye promise kamili ya Abraham. Sasa utakuwa maskini kama Yesu si rafiki. Na kiora hapo msani bwa mdos. Omenyeza bwa mdos. Mokura gera no mdos. Omdos na ro kuti tamini ile ngoko. Omanya ko bali ichara. Sema aiwezekani. Aiwezekani. Aiwezekani sikia. Mimi nilikuwa nasoma tu Biblia leo tu nikapitia kabla nije kuhubiri hawa wengine. Kupitia tu nikaona another verse. At Wagaratia 3:16. Sikia vile inasema kuhusu ile ahadi 3:16 inasema the promise the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. The scripture does not say and to seeds. Meaning many people but and to your seed meaning one person who is Christ Jesus. Usione huko hapo ndani. Mimi nataka ujue ile ahadi ilikuwa inazungumza kuhusu Yesu. Sasa wewe na Yesu mkoaje? Hapo naomba kwa nguvu kwa na kimole na Yesu. Ask your neighbor na kimole na Yesu. Anya mole na Yesu buya. Ege ntongo bakere. Alo. <laughs> Listen. And to one person who is Christ. Nikasema kumbe hii ahadi yote. Na hii utajiri wote wa Abraham. Kumbe ku 
kusudi na lengo ilikuwa ni Yesu. Nikaanza kutafuta sasa uhusiano wangu na Yesu na Oyo bwate bintu na ki na kitole komo e network yana. Ah is my network. Uliza mtu hapo network network yako na Yesu iko namna gani? E network imu yale. E binte bigoja kama network iko sawa sawa. Abia neba ondo mashaka. Kama network iko sawa. Mambo yako sawa. Mna kumbuka tuliko tunaimba Yesu akiwa enzini. Onye onye karo. Obo kongubwana no obo buoka shida yangu ni moja. Muko na muna gani na Yesu na kimumu. Halo. Sa, sasa mimi nilipata vile tuko na Yesu. Na kwa sababu ninyi wat, ni watoto wangu amwezi kuwa mbali na Yesu. Amwezi kuwa mbali na Yesu. Amwezi kuwa mbali na Yesu. Nilipata vile tuko na Yesu. Kani waonyesha vile pasta Murwabe wako na Yesu. Na ukisikia vile niko na Yesu. Ujue uko hapo hapo. Uko hapo hapo. Kila kinanipata kutoka kwa Yesu lazima kitakupata. Kila ninapewa lazima utapewa. Kila ninasherekea lazima utasherekea. Hey! Ati mambo yote Mungu alikuwa anasema ni kuhusu mtu mmoja. Jina lake ni nani? Na Biblia hapa inasema msihangaike na majina mengine. Inasema hakuna jina jingine ambalo kwalo <laughs> isipokuwa jina la Yesu. We are we are very close with this man I'm talking about. Hata mimi wewe nitazame baada ya huu mkutano mambo yangu yatanyoka vizuri zaidi. Glory to Jesus. Glory. Sikia vile tuko na Yesu. Warumi 8 29. Romans 8:29. Listen. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Sijui hata kusoma kwa Kiswahili. Lakini kwa wale Mungu alichua mapema. Pia aliwaunganisha mapema ili wafananishwe mwanake mkubwa, maana Yesu ndiye mzaliwa wa kwanza miongoni mwa wazaliwa wengine we. Ah ah. Ah. Hello. Let me even shock you more. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 11. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 11. Eh eh. Ambia neba tumefika um. Niliwaambia jana kwenu sio magenje. Kwenu sio birongo. Ila siku utajua kwenu kamili. Utakuwa unasema gari inakuja. Unasema nyumba inakuja. Unasema. <laughs> Haleluya. Hello. Let me tell you something you have never known. Hapa huyu, huyu ndugu yako, hakuna rekodi hata moja ya ugonjwa. And that's how we will walk. We are like him. We are like him. Hakuna rekodi yake ya magonjwa. Hakuna. Na kile the way Yesu alivyo, ninawatumia neno mubokae okay, vile alivyo. Hallelujah. Listen listen Hebrews 2:11 Both the one who makes men holy and those who are made holy are of the same family Hello Hata hii ujinga ndogo ndogo ya kuangaliana opposite wachana 
Wacha na yuro mwa no mino. That is your sister. That is your brother. Salimia mtu mwambie ndugu wa dam. Hello. Unajua Yesu alijua watu hawawezi kufanyika kufanyika ndugu if they don't share blood. Kwa hiyo akatoa damu yake. <laughs> Haleluya. <laughs> hey. Neno lile kukombolewa kwa damu ni kununuliwa kwa damu. Angenunua kwa dhahabu au kwa kitu kingine. Lakini akasema nikiwanunua kwa pesa hawatakuwa ndugu. Nikiwanunua kwa machi hawatakuwa ndugu. Ni kitu gani kinafanya watu ndugu? Ni damu. Akakununua kwa damu. Hey. We are bought by the blood of Jesus. Na ile damu ndio imetufanya ndugu is my brother my elder brother Haleluya Vijui ninaongea na mtu gani nimeongea kwa Kiswahili ndio msikie wote huyu ni ndugu yetu mkubwa Ka can you listen listen let me finish verse 11 And that is why Jesus sema Jesus And that is why Jesus is not ashamed to call them my brothers and sisters. Hey! Ni kwambie ukweli wa Yesu. Ukweli wa mambo ukiwa kwa hiyo familia ni vigumu kuwa maskini. Ndio maana wiki hii lazima baraka itakucha. Maana ni familia iliyobarikiwa haina rahana juu yake wala haitarani wasikia kwenu hakuna uchawi. Hakuna rahana, hakuna mateso, hakuna kukendaliwa chini. If you believe shout yes. Hallelujah. Na kwa hiyo familia, awazai wanadamu. Ah ah. Hapana. Kama ulifikiri wewe ni mwanadamu, pole. 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 Hey. Kuna mtu anafikiria ni mwanadamu. Hello. Let me tell you how you were born into that family. Na nilisoma. Nikaona ni, ni, ni hiyo familia inazaa maro. Na na ah waje makofi kwa na maro au maro wakizaliwa hapa wanaitwa wafarume. <laughs> Let me shock you. Wanaitwa wafalme. Na ni kwa nini wanaitwa wafalme? Ni kwamba by nature wamezaliwa tangu kuzaliwa kwao na kuishi kwao na kuendelea kwao, wamezaliwa kwenye miliki ya kifalme. Maana yake ni kwamba wamezaliwa nje ya umaskini, wamezaliwa nje ya magonjwa, nje ya marumbano. Kama kuna kakitu ka umasikini kanini kana kufuata kanaenda maana umeundua. You you got to know this by revelation. Hello. Eke uziba danga maana atokuya manyago ika omano rerwe. Yaani lazima utafunuliwa. Mambo tunaongea ati magonjo ya kobani lazima ufunuliwe. Ndiyo ujue, ndiyo uone, macho yako yafunguke, uone mbali. Haleluya. Sio kazi yako kufukuza umaskini. Aa, ukielewa tu umaskini unajua huyu mtu ame understand. Sio kazi yako kufukuza magonjo atina pona, pona, pona. Hapana, wewe ni kuundua tu mimi ni kwa upande huu magonjo yanaenda yenyewe yenyewe. Sickness knows where it belongs. Poverty knows where it belongs. But once you don't know where you belong, it can confuse you and stay with you. The moment you realize, I am born again. I am not born of flesh and human will. I am born of the spirit. I am a child of God. I am lifted. I am a king. I am from the tribe of Judah. Skia. Skia. Wakati Biblia inasema hakuna uchawi juu ya Yakobo haimaanishi ati hakuna wachawi watakaa karibu hapo. 
wachawi tu wenyewe sio kazi yako kusema mchawi out no wachawi wenyewe wanajua tukienda atuendi hapa tuna <laughs> na na vile mmegundua mtakuwa moto wa kuotea mbali hata wezi na wachawi wakika kwenye discussion wanaambiana tunaenda wapi wanasema kwa pastor bakara sema na ya tata hapo <laughs> wakati mapepo wa umasikini wanaongea tunaenda kwa pastor mrobe na sema aye aye shikia nataka baada ya leo wakati wa wachawi wanazungumza habari zako wanaambiana wenyewe kwenye mkutano ayo 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 aye aye ndicho ama kweli yako chini moyo iko ni goro ya obon mapepo wakati wanaletwa kwangu wanakataa wanasema waja kutupeleka kwa huyo mtu huyo mtu ni moto ndio umasikini utasema hivyo magonjwa atasema hivyo mume inuliwa ekitali gento moko sorora it is a right of your family by virtue that you are a family member you are a family member It is your right. Mahana umezaliwa hapo kwenye familia ya baraka, kwenye familia ya utajiri, kwenye familia ya umirele. Uzima wa milele sio kitu. Hebu nikuulize. Tumewahi enda kufast. Mumewahi enda kufast mpate uzima wa milele. Is your right? Ni kuni uhusiano na Yesu. Awendi kuvuka na sema baba katika jina la Yesu. Naomba ukaajilie uzima wa milele. Hapana. Unaenda huko maana wewe familia yenu ni ya uzima na leo nakwambia familia yenu ni ya utajiri familia yenu ni ya baraka inarogwa airogeki haleluya 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 it is your right hata wakati mnatoa sadaka hapa sio at familia yenu ni maskini ni kwa sababu ninyi kwenye familia yenu one of the things you do ni kutoa toa tu kwa sababu ni familia is a family priest tunatoa hiyo ni, ni kazi ya familia haleluya haleluya john ya leo kama kuna kitu nataka ufanye ni kumshukuru Mungu peke yake kwa kukufanya mwana wa familia na baraka zingine zitafuatana na maisha yako